do you need both a Dutch oven and a brazier? Here is a 28 centimeter model Dutch oven from Le Creuset, and here is a 30 centimeter brazier from Le Creuset. Um, that's the biggest size they make. There is no 28 centimeter version of this. And before I answer the question, let's just take a second to talk about how nice this thing looks, this brazier looks. You know, even if you have no use for it whatsoever, uh, this is going to be a great serving dish if you had a dinner party. <laughs> you know, you, you cook a roast, a roast chicken, roast beef, whatever it is you make, and you serve it right out of this piece. Uh, that's going to be a pretty great conversation starter, I think. Uh, and your guests should be impressed. So that's at least one good thing about it. Okay, so now back to the question. Uh, do you need both? My answer is no. Um, I, again, I would have loved to be able to say yes, but uh, purely from a practical point of view, I would say no. Uh, the only reason for that, um, or the obvious reason for that, is that everything you can do in the brazier, rather, you can do in the Dutch oven, um, but not vice versa. You can't do everything that you can do here in the brazier. Uh, the, the reason is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, this obviously is a much taller vessel, has a much higher volume, so for large volume of soups, juice, uh, this is going to be much, much more suitable than this. I mean, you wouldn't even make soup in this, so the shape is just not right for the, for the soup. And um, this is only a few days old, two days old, rather. Right? This is about a week old. Um, so let's just have a chat about what, what my initial initial impressions were and um, I have to say I was a little bit underwhelmed um, just just a little bit I mean still a very very nice vessel don't get me wrong um, so I'll tell you why I was underwhelmed um, so firstly for a 30 centimeter diameter I was really hoping the cooking surface the flat usable cooking surface would be a bit bigger um, this is 25 centimeter cooking surface. This is about 24, 23 and a half. So you're not getting that that much more for the type of pan uh, it is. Um, you know, I would have loved a 26, 27 centimeter cooking surface. And that's because the size here, um, it, it is very, very sloped. Um, you know, uh, it, it, it would be, in my opinion, it would have been a bit better if they reduce the tapering here on the sides, and you know they, keep, they and so then they could give us a little bit more surface on the bottom. Um, so considering considering the thirty centimeter diameter, I'm a little bit less than impressed with the usable surface. Um, and, and the second point is that I, I find this pen a little bit too shallow. Uh, that's going to sound like a double standard because obviously it's not a Dutch oven; it's not meant to be tall like a Dutch oven, um, but nevertheless, I, I do find it a bit too, too, too shallow. Uh, the, this lid is a very tall lid for the type of pan. Um, so, I mean, they could have made the lid a little bit less tall and put some extra height on the pan because I feel a bit uncomfortable, you know, steering with a spatula or whatever. I just feel like food is going to fall out over the side. <laughs> um, uh, yes, um, so that's um, that's a couple of reasons why I was a little bit underwhelmed uh, with this uh, with this uh, with this design. Um, I mean, it's still a beautiful vessel, and I would use it as much as I can. You know, don't don't get me wrong. Uh, the other reason, uh, well, not the reason. The other thing I found a little bit strange was that the weight and the thickness of this lid is extremely substantial. Um, so the the total the total weight of this entire a vessel, this entire pan is 5.6, or uh, let's say approximately 5.6. I weighed it on my scale, um, and 2.5 of that is, is on the lid. And this is very thick and it's very heavy, and it's much, much thicker and heavier than this. And um, and I don't, don't quite understand why they put so much weight here and not so much weight here. So this is 3.1, it's still, still heavier than the lid obviously but uh, yeah I mm, they, they could they, they could have made this a bit thicker uh, or a bit bigger and given us a heavier body and a 
in a slightly less heavy uh, or, or lighter lid. Uh, so that, I found that a little bit strange uh, as well. And I want to just do a comparison with a, you know, a typical stainless 28 centimeter um, saute pan. And so let's just put that aside for now. And yep, let's do a comparison. So, you know, similar kind of pans. This is 28 centimeter diameter. This is 30, so this is even bigger. Um, but with this design, with this typical sorting pen design, you get a, a striped vertical sides. So you do actually get a full 28 centimeter of cooking surface. Um, and I can confirm because I, because I measured it. So in terms of practicality, you know, I, I, cannot, I cannot say in good conscience that this is more practical than this. Because this is better in terms of volume, and this is also better in terms of the um, amount of cooking surface that it gives you. And there's nothing that you know you, you you can make in this that you cannot do in this. Uh, this I'm just using this as an example. This is you know a cheap IKEA uh, thirty euro saute pan. Um, uh, but I do quite like it actually. I use this for for, for uh, you know a, a few things. I roast chicken. And sometimes I make pasta. And obviously you can do this and do it in this as well. Um, so you know if I do a comparison like that, it's just another reason why I would say that. Um, you know, there's uh, there, there's little reason that, that I can see why you won't have, why you would want both. Um, personally, if I was you, I would get a Dutch oven just like this one, um, or the size that suits you. This is going to be fantastic. And alongside that, I would get a you know a higher quality, a good the made a. Uh, uh, all clad or whatever brand it is, a nice solid heavy saute pan like this. Um, you know, I like the version with uh, with a handle, with a long handle, um, but that's, that, that doesn't work in my house because you know, my, I've got a small oven, unfortunately, so the, it's not going to fit in my oven if there's a big handle like this, so that's why I have you know, pans with short handles like this. Um, uh, but having said that, um, I, I will enjoy using this. I will use this as much as, as much as I can. I will serve food in it when I have guests over. Um, you know, especially with people that um, you know that are hard that I find hard to have a conversation with. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so that's what I think. You know, I I don't think you need both. Um, would have loved to say yes, but um, my my heart says yes, my head says no, and that's. Um, yeah, and that's uh, my final answer to the question. So, uh, once again, hope you found it helpful. Um, any thoughts, comments down below. Thank you.